Hola, 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 hola. Welcome to this week's lesson on Live Life Your Way. So I know that there's a slight delay, so I'm just going to wait a moment so we can get in and I'm going to pull up on my phone the so I could see your comments. So I'm really excited that you are here. And today we're going to be talking about how to remove negative energy from our body and our aura. And we're going to be talking about why this is important for all of us. So I'm excited that you're here. I'm just pulling it up on my phone. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome. Please share, like, subscribe. So today, and I have my notes with me, so I'm really excited. So this is lesson number seven. So thank you for being with me this far, right? on Live Life Your Way. And this is all about the pledge on really learning what are some things you can do to help balance yourself so that you can start attracting the life that you desire, the life, you know, live life your way. So in today's session, we're going to be talking about what are negative energies and why it's important to remove them. And then I'm also gonna guide you through an exercise on removing them, okay, awesome. So I have my notes here. I'm gonna be looking at them because I do not wanna forget to share anything that's important with you because I get distracted very easily. <laughs> so welcome, thank you for being here. And um, so let's get started, I'm just gonna, okay, great, so let's, see what's happening hi faith thank you for showing up thank you thank you so what are negative energies right negative energies are any feelings emotions um, thoughts that do not support our goals right and the way that we attract negative energy is through the way we feel about ourselves right so there's many different forces and many different energies and we cannot be in control of all of that. It is not our job to be in control of what's happening outside of ourselves. Okay. What is for us to do is to keep ourselves in harmony and in balance so that we don't attract these entities or negative energies that would want to feed into some of the, the unsupported desires right or the unsupported beliefs okay so you know um so for example i have an example this this so if you are feeling shameful or you have guilt right what happens is that vibration attracts so like attracts like right we all have heard this before like attracts light like so when you're in, in a, an energy that is lower vibration, such as shame, such as guilt, right? These energies, what it does is it attracts you to having the same, uh, it attracts you to having entities that support that, okay? I'm looking here and I see like it's kind of breaking up. I hope not. Um, I hope that you guys can see and hear me well. So with the whole thing about energy and attraction is what you are, you attract, you know, and you could believe this or not believe this, but I ask you to look at your life and see what's happening, right? Are you exp continuously experience the same thing and again and again and again? That's because you are a tr you're the attraction magnet and you attract what you are what you believe and how you hold yourself and the beliefs that you tell yourself and that you truly do believe in your subconscious mind okay so to avoid having you know negative energies come towards you and feed into your energy right or take you know reside in your energy field right because we have our physical body yeah right? This is a physical body, which you can see, right? And then there is the aura, right? Or our energy field. And this also attracts, this is a part of who we are. It's a, an extension of our spirit, of our, our, our true nature, because we're truly spirit, right? So our true nature is spirit. So what, what's really amazing is that 
based on how you feel about yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you, you know, your emotions that you have attached to yourself and how you feel and how you interact and, and in the world is how you are going to start attracting new experiences into your life, okay? So if you're not too happy about where things are going for you right now, then you may want to visit the idea of bringing in a positive viewpoint about yourself, your experiences, and, and what you deserve to have, okay? So when we have shame and guilt in our body, what ends up happening is it, it's, it's heavy, dense energy, and we are going to attract, you know, shame and guilt situations and energies that will continue to play that out. But if we love ourselves, if we say, hey, you know, I'm unstoppable, I am unlimited, I, am, I have so much potential in everything I do, I go for what I want, I'm... Um, I, I'm an unconditional person, right? An unconditional loving person towards myself. What happens is the universe starts catching up with it, right? As you continue to tell yourself this. And what happens with the lower energies that are attracted to you or were attracted to you, they start clearing away because there is no so-called food to feed on, right? The way that energies feed on is by attaching to things that are like them. So if you are, you know, loving yourself and you're feeling abundant and prosperous, right, you're going to attract the energy and the entities that also have that magnetism, right? And then that comes into your energy field and it, it helps you create. Okay, cool. So that's a little bit about like negative energy or just energy in general, right? It's just energy in general. So the second thing I want to talk about is how to remove energies and we talked a little bit about that so removing energies is important because what happens is when when we are like having negative attachments maybe you know we went through a rough patch but now we're ready to kind of overcome that let's say like a, a toxic relationship you know, we're ready to overcome this toxic relationship and now we're moving into, you know, bringing in healthy relationships. Some of that energy still stays stuck until you completely move it out. So I'm going to do an exercise with you today on how to move out that energy, right? We're going to do a guided meditation to help push that energy out, right? That energy that isn't serving, that's eating away your potentials, right? And really pushing you away from what you want. But the most important thing is like, even though we're going to do this exercise and it's great, if you do it once, it's not good enough. Okay, it's a continuous process. And anything that you do and you really want to have results, you have to, it, it becomes a lifestyle, right? So there's a lifestyle of thinking of yourself in a loving way. It's a lifestyle if you want toxic relationships. So you have to make the choices that are going to support the lifestyle that you want. Right. And that's this whole campaign talking about living life your way. Right. It's designing the life you want by you being consistent in your practice, because that's that's really the only way to get results. There isn't a magic pill. There isn't any of that in anything that we do. Right. Even in health. Right. In diet in all of that. Right. There isn't this this thing there. There's a mindset thing that has to happen. Right. And that mindset is about your lifestyle. Okay, so we're going to remove these toxic energies. So what I want to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to remove toxic energies that are unsupported to our goals. So I want you to think of a goal that you want. Okay, maybe, maybe it's more money. Let's, let's do that. Everyone seems to want more money, right? So let's say our goal is to have more money. Right, so I want you to hold on to this, this holding, I want you to hold on to the vision of seeing yourself with the money, right, like in your bank account, in your physical hands, right, what would it feel like for you to have that money, right, what would you do with that money, okay, and I'm not talking about paying bills, I'm talking about pleasure, what would you do as far as pleasure with that money, because if you go into, well, if I got you know, this amount of money, what I would do is pay my bills. Okay, yes, we have that responsibility or pay my debt, right? 
yes, I get that, but that doesn't light you up, right? That doesn't excite you. It doesn't excite us to, to, to bring, to pay our bills, or it doesn't excite us to pay our debt, right? Because it reminds us of what, that we have debt, right? So I don't want you to focus on that part. I want you to focus on the pleasure. Because what the angels have shared with me is that as you bring yourself into your pleasure zone, right? We bring ourselves in our pleasure zone and there's many forms of pleasure, right? And sexuality and spirituality, right? So there's like this, this pleasure center, right? And as we, when we're visualizing something, okay, when we're visualizing something from the place of pleasure, we become very uh, motivated to work towards it. Right? If I just think about, okay, I just want to pay off my bills and stuff, that's not really that exciting. But if I think about, oh, what I can do with my money, I could go and help support children all around the world, better education for people, maybe start a mentoring program, right? What would that be? I would like to travel around the world. Yes, travel around the world. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. So there's like all of these these things right that we that if you can bring the pleasure center because what we do is when when we bring our pleasure center right and we visualize it our energy automatically starts to become heightened right because we get excited we may even get sexually excited and if you get sexually excited about traveling that's awesome you want to know why or let's say bringing in more money or let's say maybe getting that new car that new house you want when you get excited and you can bring the spiritual aspect which is like your mindset and the way you feel about yourself and you could bring your sexuality the way you express yourself what this does it becomes an, a magnet to supporting yourself and what happens is all the energy that is unsupported or doesn't support that vision cannot survive in your energy field but in order for that energy to completely dissipate from your energy field right and your body you need to be consistent in your pleasure. You have to be consistent in your visual, right? So consistency is key. <laughs> okay, awesome. So now I want to walk us through an exercise. So, you know, I don't know what you're doing right now. If you can take a few moments right now to kind of get yourself centered listen to the sounds of my voice and kind of go through it if you cannot do that right now that's okay you could come back to this because guess what it's recorded and you can save this video to your facebook feed right so that's something that's cool with facebook is you could click on the icon and you could save it or if you share it on your page you'll always have it right and you'll be able to come back to it every time you want to bring yourself to that pleasure space Okay, and we want to bring our pleasure from our visual stimulation, our spirit, and we also want to bring it from our physical, our sexuality. Okay, because when we can do that, anything you don't understand the the way we can like really transfer our energy, right? It just really like elevates and comes up, and and it's amazing, amazing, amazing. And I have so many stories about what has happened to me, as far as like coming from like that energy place and, and really coming up. So I'll share something really quickly. So the other day I was walking uh, around my neighborhood, right? And I, I heard the ice cream truck and I saw the ice cream truck and I got so excited because anyone who knows me knows I love ice cream, right? I, I love ice cream. It's so much fun for me. And, and it's just one of my favorite snacks or treats, right? So when I get to the truck, I realize I didn't have my bag with me. I didn't have my wallet because I was just walking around getting some fresh air. So I'm standing there looking at the truck and I'm like, hmm, do I have enough time to go home and get my wallet? And as I'm standing there thinking this, this guy comes up to me and he, he goes, you are so beautiful. I would, it would bring me much pleasure if I can buy you an ice cream. And I was just there in amazement. Like I just looked at him like, what yes i want ice cream and i was like yes i i will i i accept your offer and he got me the ice cream and he went i said thank you and he went about his way right he went on and did what he wants and that was the universe giving me what i wanted through you know using other people and that was his pleasure right my pleasure was to have the ice cream and his pleasure was to buy it for me 
right? He saw me, he admired me, he said I was beautiful, he gave me a compliment, I felt good about it. And then he went and bought me an ice cream and he left smiling and feeling good about himself. And I was there smiling and feeling good about myself and so was my belly, <laughs> right? And all my taste buds. So that's what it's like when you bring yourself to your pleasure, right? And things just start happening, right? And, and the universe just takes care of all of what, what's going on for you, right? Like, hey, I could have made a big deal. I could have been fussy. I could have been, oh, man, oh, uh, you know, and I could have been complaining. But I was in solution mode, right? I was like, okay, how can I get this ice cream? And the universe said, hey, I got a better idea than what you can come up with. Here's this person that can get it for you and you don't have to run back home and come back and hopefully that the truck will be here so it not that like so exciting and like there's so many areas that we can experience this in our life right so um as you start bringing yourself to pleasure right you don't have to figure out the how the universe does all the how right but as you sit in your pleasure you know, I was in my pleasure zone. I was walking. I was having a great time. I saw the ice cream that was pleasurable, and then I even got to eat it. So there, there's all of this, like, component about bringing your pleasure centers, and it's everything. It's the physical and the spiritual. They're not separated. Okay. So now I want to guide you through, uh, like, meditational state, right, uh, that we can connect and really start pushing out some of that negative energy that we may have attracted in our life and start bringing in more of what we do want okay so let's take in a deep breath in and out another one in and out one more time in and out beautiful thank you so now what I what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through a meditation and what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to the light from above and the and the beautiful energy from Mother Earth from below okay so now if you want you if you can close your eyes close your eyes and now you are safe and I want you to listen to the sounds of my voice Okay, and now I want you to visualize a beam of light coming from the sky down towards your head, coming down, down, down into your head. And this, say, this, this energy, this pure white light is pure abundant, right? It's pure abundance and it's pure truth of you, of who you are, where you are, and what it is that you deserve. And this light is going to continue and it's continually coming in and in, into your head. Now allow this light to come into your head, into your eyes, into your face. Just so continue to allow this energy to, to come in. Come into your energy. Come down, 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 down into your throat area. And this beautiful white light is purifying every organ that is going through and all the energy. Right, So all the energy that is supportive of abundance is staying and all of the energy that isn't abundant is now leaving from your energy and this light continues to go down 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 into your chest down 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 your arms down 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 into your heart center taking a deep breath in and out <sighs> right now let this light go into your solar plexus your energy center and your stomach pushing out any shame guilt lower energies unsupportive energies continue to bring that energy down 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 into your hips into your sacral chakra now down 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 into your root chakra grounding you you are now standing strong now this light continues to go down 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 your legs going down 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 into the soles of your feet and now this beautiful white light is coming down out of the soles of your feet into the universe and into the mother earth and now Mother Earth receives this beautiful white light and in return she throws up a beautiful burst of beautiful energy right back into the soles of your feet, into your body. And this energy just feels so safe and so motherly and so calming. And this energy continues to come up, up, up all the way into your heart space. And now in your heart space we have the light from above and the mother, mother energy 
Mother Earth's energy from below. And now I want you to take that energy and continue to expand that energy now into, into every organ of your body, expanding, expanding it, expanding that energy out of your body into your aura, expanding, 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 pushing it out, extending, extending. You are now an extended being. Okay, now your energy is getting bigger, bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and bigger. And as your energy becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and more expansive and more expansive and more balanced and more balanced, as it becomes balanced, whole, and beautiful, everything that is unsupported starts to diminish. It is now deteriorated and leaving your body and your energy. And now you are expanded, expanded, expanded. Now you can attract all your desires. So right now we're just going to fill in our space with abundance. Abundance of love, abundance of money, abundance of health, abundance of travel, right? Abundance of supporting others, of abundance of having a voice, abundance of standing strong and feeling powerful. Now you're just feeling that, taking a deep breath in and let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. And as you continue to breathe in and out, you're expanding your energy and becoming stronger and stronger. And this light in your heart center is just expanding, expanding, and making you stronger. And you're feeling more powerful in your stance, and you're feeling more powerful in who you are. Mmm. Doesn't it feel delicious? All this pleasure. And allow your body to feel the pleasure. Allow your body to get excited. Allow your spirit to lift through you and expand through you and express itself through you. Yes, you are a spiritual being and you are also a sexual being and you are here to experience both at the same time. And as you bring yourself to this heightened bliss and orgasm, you are now becoming an attraction magnet of all of your desires and it is yours now. Just continue to visualize it and continue to expand your energy out and out and out and know that you can do this exercise as many times as you want with anything that you want to attract in your life loving relationships health feeling grounded having clarity being a goddess whatever it is that you want to bring into your life you can do this anytime and fill in your space continue to expand yourself and take in a deep breath in and out <sighs> yes Mm. Now just sit with this energy for a moment and continue to visualize yourself being successful. Seeing yourself attracting what it is you want and know that this is a, spa a safe space for you to have any expression. Any, any expression that you want. Mm, now you can open your eyes. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, my beautiful soul. You are glowing and you are beautiful. And I could feel your energy through this connection. Okay, and I want you to just continue to bring that to yourself. To continue to allow yourself to be in this bliss and this blessing. Okay, and just trust in yourself and trust in the universe because you are a part of it and it loves you. And you love the universe and I know that deeply in my heart and in your soul. There is this connection and you are ready. So you are no longer going to be impacted by l negative energies. And if you ever feel sad, lonely, lonely, shame, guilt, or any of those lower emotions, know that you can, you have the choice to move that out. And you can do this beautiful exercise to help expand your energy and move it out of you and to remind you of the truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are is that you are an abundant being and you deserve to have everything that you desire and I want to see you having all of your desires met because when you're in pleasure so am I and when I'm in player and pleasure so are you so this was really exciting so um, now that we uncovered you know how to remove this energy what I want us to do is to remember this and to share this energy Okay, and I just looked at my notes, make sure that I covered everything I wanted to share with you. Whew, that was beautiful. So now, if you would like to learn more on how you can expand your energy, I ask you to visit my website, miracleswithinus.net, and claim a 20-minute complimentary session where we can work on clearing your energy and helping you stay focused. So 
I'll have the link below. My energy is so vibrating right now. I feel like I'm in cloud nine. So I ask you to join me on my cloud nine and I want you to be on your cloud nine. So I share with you, I'll have the link below on how to claim your 20 minute strategy session so we can uncover what needs to be pushed out and so that you can start really creating a plan that works towards your goals. So I'll have that below. Thank you for being here and know that if you share this video, you get entered into a drawing where you can win a one hour private session with me. All you have to do is share this video. So until the next time, my beautiful soul, my sister, my brother, I love you unconditionally. Namaste.